when I was a teenager, I was involved with various kind of like hacking groups. And some of you might have heard of like Anonymous and Lothic, but I was part of this uh, kind of like hacktivist group called um, Lothic that hacked into various kind of US government and corporate entities. And, you know, for example, we, you know, hacked into the emails of like this federal contractor called HB Gary Federal, and that revealed like various wrongdoing that that company was doing. And at the time I was just like 15 years old and all I had was a laptop, you know, a cheap laptop. And so that kind of, that kind of made me realize that, um, like, with it was kind of like a David versus Goliath moment that made me realize that with access to just a laptop and and by creating software or by manipulating information, you could basically redistribute power from people that from the powerful to the pe- to to everyone else effectively. And so that's kind of like what uh, that's also a big reason why I'm interested in cryptocurrency as well. Absolutely. And can you tell us a little bit about the trouble you got into with that group? And I also am curious to understand your experience kind of dealing with law enforcement, if you're willing to share. Yeah, I mean, um, because I was I was 15 at the time, so I didn't have a big sentence. I was there was was like something like 80 computer hacking charges. But because I was under 18 in the UK, um, I only had like a two year suspended sentence, which means I didn't have to serve time in jail as long as I didn't reoffend. And then have something like 320 hours of community service in a uh, charity shop. 